bootstrap navigation bars. So a navigation bar is a navigation header that is placed at the top of the page. So here is an example. And here is another example from a web page. So this is actually the navigation bar. basic navigation bar with bootstrap a navigation bar can extend or collapse depending on the screen size a standard navigation bar is created with a nav bar class followed by a responsive collapsing bar nav bar expand dash could be xl lgmd or sm so this stacks the nav bar vertically on extra large medium or small screens. To add links inside the nav bar, use a ul element with the class navbar dash nav. Then add li elements with the nav item class followed by an a element with the nav link. So very similar with a nav just like what we had, or what was discussed in the previous video if you haven't seen the video we have a video about nav and similar except that we have this nav bar expand and we use the nav bar nav class so previously we just used nav class so here we can use the nav tag and then class nav bar then we have here navbar expand sm background light then inside we have the an ordered list with the navbar nav and for each item we have the nav item and for each link we have the nav link so that is the simplest way or that's the basic navigation bar so it appearance its appearance will be similar to this one A vertical nav bar so if we have if we want a vertical nav bar we just remove the nav bar expand class to create a vertical navigation bar so similar with the previous one except that we have removed this class a centered nav bar so we add the justify content center class to center the navigation bar the following example, <coughs> excuse me, the following example will center the navigation bar on medium large and extra large screens. On small screen, screens, it will be displayed vertically and left aligned because of the nav bar expand SM class. Okay, so for larger than small screen, it will be displayed, so it will be centered, but again on small to lower screen it will be vertical so we have your visual light justify content center so all we have to do is to add this one to have a centered to have a centered uh, nav bar now we can also color our nav bars so use any of the bg color classes to change the background color of the nav bar or you can also create your own color so we can use the BG primary, BG success, and other uh, color classes. So we have here BG light. This one is BG dark or BG, yes, this is BG dark. This one is BG primary. So we can use these colors to color our nav bar. So as an example, color nav bar. So the same code a while ago, but we have here BG primary and nav bar dark. So if you use the nav bar dark, then the text will be colored light. And use the BG primary as our background. And if you use BG light, if you have nav bar light, then the text will be in dark colors. And this will be the background. 
So brand logo. A Navbar brand class is used to highlight the brand logo project name of your page. So to create a brand logo, we just use this one, A, then, so we it can be a link, and this link can be pointing to your home, home page if you want to, or maybe pointing to another page. But in this case, we just place first the number symbol. So A class equals Navbar brand, then we have free the logo. So again, this will be the logo. And the logo here can also be an image if you want to use an image instead of just text. Collapsing the navigation bar. Very often, especially on small screens, you want to hide the navigation links and replace them with a button that should reveal them when click on. So more or less you can see this on cell phones. So to create a collapsible navigation bar, use a button with class equals navbar toggler. So it should be a button with the number class navbar toggler. Then data toggle equals collapse. And data target equals the target. So th this is actually the ID. Then wrap the navbar contents, so links, etc. inside a division element with class equals collapse and then navbar collapse followed by an ID that matches the data target. So the ID here should be equal to this. So the bottom, so the target ID. So let's take a look at this. So here we have our uh, navbar class inside the nav tag. Then we have this, our brand or logo. And then we have here our button. Again, the button should have the navbar toggler class. And then we have the data toggle collapse, so we have to place this one. Then data target should be the ID. Should, should be the ID of a, an, a wrapper section or wrapper ID, a wrapper class or a wrapper block. And then we have here now our links in, with this wrap inside a division with an ID collapsible navbar. So it should be, so this one should correspond to this. And we have the navbar collapse class added to this. So class and nav, uh, collapse and then navbar collapse so added to this division. Again, be sure that this ID are the same because this one is referring to this ID. So navbar with drop down. So the same, but in this time around, in our link, you know, or in our list item, we added the drop down class. And then in our link, we use a drop down drop down toggle, and we have an ID. And then toggle drop down. So after the link, you can place it now your items for the drop down. So drop down menu, we have drop down item, the first item, etc. So this will be your drop down. We can also have navigation bar with forms and buttons. So we add a bottom element with class form inline to group inputs and buttons side by side. And we'll have a video, separate video for forms but for now let's take a look at this so we have here form with the class form inline and action this will be the uh, page that will be open if we submit this button and it contains a an input a text box and a button so a text box and a button so we can add this one so just place this place a form inside your navbar Navbar text. So we can also place text. So navbar text are text that are not, uh, that's not, uh, it's not a link. We can add also text that are not links. So we just use the navbar text class. Okay, to vertically align any elements inside the navbar that are not links. So here we have this one, and then we just added this. So inside the navbar class, so we have span class equals navbar text. So number text here is not actually a link. 
It's just a text inside our navigation bar. Fixed navigation bar. The navigation bar can also be fixed at the top or at the bottom of a page of the page. The fixed navigation bar stays visible in a fixed position, top or bottom, independent of the page scroll. The fixed top class makes the navigation bar fixed at the top. So that means that even if you scroll your page, the navigation bar will stay at the top of your screen. We can also use the fixed bottom class to make the navbar stay at the bottom of the page. So the same is true with the fixed top. If you scroll your screen, your menu will or your navigation bar will stay at the bottom if you use a fixed bottom. So to do this in our nav, we just add the class fixed top or fixed bottom. Now we also have the sticky bar. So the sticky bar is similar to the fixed top, but uh, it will only be fixed once you scroll past it. So use the sticky top class to make the navbar fixed or stay at the top of the page when you scroll past it. Note this class does not work in uh, Internet Explorer 11 and earlier, but so I, I hope it will be working on your on your browsers. So we have here sticky top so instead of uh, fixed top. What's the previous one? Fixed top. Yes. Yeah, so we use sticky top. So let's try to create an example. So I have already placed here an example. So I have here my template. And then I have here the nub slash nub. So what's important here is use the class navbar and then navbar expand sm or md so let's just use md then bg dart so that we can uh, collapse this navbar at a larger screen so bg dart navbar dart so that means we have a dart navigation bar then here we have our logo so we just place a link and then the class navbar brand then after that we have our button so this will be the button that will be displayed if we make our screen smaller so again that class should be navbar toggler type equals button data toggle equals collapse data target is collapsible navbar so this corresponds to this so you should always check this one. So span now bar toggler icon span. So this uh, this is actually the icon, an icon that is similar to three lines, or sometimes called the burger icon. So that will be displayed in this button. Again, this will only appear once we have a smaller screen, and I will be showing you that later. Then of course we have for now our links in our in our navbar wrap inside this division so we have to use the class collapse and navbar collapse with the id collapsible navbar so collapsible navbar then we have the item so ul class equals navbar nav then each item nav item and each link nav link to just like what we have in our previous video if you haven't seen your video you can check the channel okay so once we have this one we can now launch this maybe in another in a browser so let's say chrome so i have free now my navigation bar so it's dark because that's what i have placed here the background is dark and navbar dark so now expire md so my logo is navbar that's why what we have here is navbar that's my logo and it's a link that's why you notice if i place my mouse on top of this or if i hover my mouse on top of this uh, logo my cursor becomes like this and then we have here my 
links. Of course, you have to change this in your menu. Then we have this text. So that text is just placed here. Inside the container, we have H3 and then we have paragraph. So, so that we have a uh, some sort of a content for our web page. Okay. So, but let's try to check. I'm going to click on more tools, developer tools. So originally, this is our link or our navbar. But if I press on this, so to make our screen smaller, so just like a cell phone, you notice that I don't have the links anymore, but I have here the button. So that is because we have a collapsible navbar. So once I click on this, then it will show us the links. So just like what you see on your cell phones. So that's a collapsible navbar. So if we place, click on this for a larger screen. So just like what you see on most web pages, especially on your laptops. But if, again, you click on this. So more or less is what you see on your uh, even web, web pages as long as you're using your cell phone. So that ends my video. You can check or you can, of course, use the sticky and other items later. You can experiment on that. So thank you for listening.